Thank you all for coming. Um, answer a couple of questions in a second. I do want to um, uh, say how pleased uh, I am to be here in, uh, in Argentina, advancing an agenda that is uh, based upon my belief and our country's belief there are certain uh, universal values. Um, one of those values is that uh, free societies are important to the progress of men and women, but free societies also re require institutions that uh, are solid and sound. Uh, institutions such as the right to worship freely, the right to uh, write, say what you want in the press freely, the right to campaign and express your opinions freely. Uh, it's very important that there be solid rule of law and independent judiciary. And so I'm, I'm pleased to be down here. I'm, it's a good place to spend Lars' birthday, which is today. I knew you knew that. No, I know you did. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> don't bring it up when you see it. <laughs> but it's, uh, I just had a meeting uh, earlier with the, the Central American countries. Uh, young democracies, uh, struggling to succeed, making good progress toward uh, making sure institutions are well-rooted. Um, I say Central America plus the Dominican Republic. And we talked about how pleased we were that we got the free trade agreement here, and uh, at least through the United States Congress. And uh, most of the countries had ratified it. And we're looking forward to implementing the trade agreement. I had a good visit with President Kirshner. Now, Argentina is an amazing country. It's uh, a vast land with a lot of natural resources, and he's done a very good job of helping to uh, helping this economy of theirs and their financial picture improve. And I congratulate him on it. We talked up. Well, you heard me I'll repeat what, what we talked about. We talked about a lot of subjects. And, uh, it's a good, good, honest discussion. And finally, uh, I just met with our uh, friends from the Indian nations. Uh, Good young democracies, again, struggling to fight narco-trafficking. And they were very interested in making sure that we didn't forget them uh, and that we continue to pursue a free trade agreement. That was the main topic of discussion. All those countries recognized the importance of having a free trade agreement with the United States. And I assured them that our negotiators are negotiating in good faith and will continue to negotiate in good faith. Uh, that's, that's what I've done so far today. Never. Hi, Mr. President. Thank you. Um, did Carl Rove tell you the truth about his role in the CIA leak case? And do you owe the American people an apology for your administration's assertions that Carl Rove and Scooter Libby weren't involved? Uh, we, we, we were going through a very serious investigation. And uh, I, I will... I have told you before that I'm not going to discuss the investigation until it's completed. And uh, we have got a... I, my obligation is to... Uh, set an agenda, uh, and I've done that. And the agenda is fighting, winning the war on terror, and keeping economic vitality and growth alive, and dealing with the energy problem, nominating people to the Supreme Court that uh, adhere to the philosophy that I campaigned on, Judge Alito being such a person. Uh, I noticed today that they've got a date. I'm disappointed in the date, but happy they do have a firm date for his confirmation hearing. Um, we've got a recover from the hurricanes and so I've got a lot to do and we'll continue to focus on the people's business. Steve. <clears throat> You've taken a beating in recent weeks, sir. What are you going to do for a fresh start? Are there going to be any staff changes? Would it help if the special prosecutor would wrap up his probe quickly? Well, again, you're trying to get me to comment on the, on the investigation, which I'm not going to do, and I hope you understand. It's a serious investigation and uh, it's an important investigation, but it's not yet over. Uh, I think it's important for the American people to know that I understand my job is to set clear goals and deal with the problems we face. Now, look, we, we, we got an ongoing war on terror. And uh, my administration is working with friends and allies to find these terrorists uh, and bring them to justice before they strike us again. We're fighting the terrorists in Iraq. And as you know, we've got a two-pronged strategy, an important strategy. That uh, one on the one hand is a, has a political solution to it, and the other hand is a security solution to it. And we're working hard to achieve those objectives. We're laying what I have called the foundation for peace. 
because democratic nations don't war. Democratic nations are, will be allies with each other in fighting off an ideology that is uh, dark and grim in its vision and is willing to use murder as its tool. Elizabeth. Okay, this is not a question about the investigation. But it's about Carl. It sounds like one, though. <laughs> Are there discussions in the White House about whether or not Carl will remain in his job? Elizabeth, the uh, investigation on Carl, as you know, is not complete. And uh, therefore, I will not comment upon about uh, him and or the investigation. I, you know, I, I understand the anxiety and angst by the press corps to, to talk about this. On the other hand, it's a serious investigation, and we take it seriously. And we're cooperating to the extent that the special prosecutor wants us to cooperate. Um, yeah. The, the yeah, American Chavez. people, though, sir, the American people, though, are uh, beginning to question your honesty, according to polls, 58 percent, and your approval rating is at an all-time low, primarily because it seems this investigation. They are wondering whether you can keep on track and whether to believe you, sir. Well, I, 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 I know I understand there's a preoccupation by polls by some. I think this may be. I think we've got this is maybe the fourth or fifth consecutive. Uh, semi-press conference, press conference or semi-press conference that I've been asked about polls. Uh, uh, the, way, the way you earn credibility with the American people is to set a clear agenda that everybody can understand, an agenda that relates to their lives, and get the job done. And the agenda that, uh, uh, that I'm working on now is one that is important to the American people. First of all, it's to protect our country is to understand that we're at war with a, uh, a, a radical ideology that wants to inflict harm on America and at the same time uh, use that harm they inflict to achieve territorial ambition. Uh, I've, I've talked a lot recently about the Zawahiri letter to Zarqawi, which is a clear statement of purpose by these terrorists. It should be viewed for what it is. A, a open warning to the free world that this is a very uh, vital war and we need to win it. Uh, so I spent a lot of time talking about that and more than talking about acting on it. Uh, secondly, you know, our economy has, has shown amazing resilience in the face of natural disaster as well as rising energy prices. But we've got to have policies in place that make it possible for the economy to continue to grow. You know, we're down here talking about trade. It's hard to trade with somebody if they're broke. And I've told our partners that we've got good, you know, good economic growth now, but what we need to do is to work with Congress to make sure that, um, that we deal with the energy crisis. What can we do to deal with the energy crisis? Well, we can expand refinery capacity in the United States. I mean, it should be apparent to the members of Congress that when the uh, Katrina hit, there was massive disruptions of our own capacity to make gasoline, which put us in a precarious position for the consumers, which would have affected the economy, by the way. And so we'll be talking to Congress about an, uh, a, f a further energy initiative to, uh, to make sure we've got economic growth. We've obviously got work to do with Katrina and Rita, the damage from those hurricanes. Uh, and I mentioned the Supreme Court. Um, I, I, and this is a very vital issue for the United States Senate and for the country. Uh, Sam Alito Jr. is, uh, is an incredibly intelligent, well-qualified person who should be on the court. I, I told the leadership I thought it would be best to have the hearings before Christmas. Uh, you know, they didn't feel like they could get the job done. I talked to Chairman Specter, and the reason why, at least he explained to me, that he couldn't get uh, the hearings done before Christmas because Alito had ruled, had written so many opinions and he wanted to make sure he had time to read them. And they made that decision. Fortunately, there is a firm date and we look forward to uh, working on that date. And finally, an issue that is of concern to the American people is the border, is border security. I signed an appropriations bill and, uh, for border security and during that um, signature uh, ceremony talked about our strategy to use technology and border patrol and wise policies to, to do our job, which is to prevent people from illegally, not only people, but by the way, contraband, uh, guns and drugs from coming into our country illegally. And so that's the agenda before us, and that's the agenda that I will continue to work on. One more. Yeah, Matt. Uh, Mr. President, um, you're likely to cross paths with Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez mm -hmm. at this summit. 
Uh, how should Americans think about this president who said many hostile things about you and uh, your administration? Is, do you think of him as another Castro? And if you, uh, if you see him uh, this afternoon, do you have any words for him? Well, I, I will, of course, uh, be polite. That's what the American people expect their president to do, is to be a, a polite person. And I will, you know, if I run, run across him, I will do just that. Um, my attitude toward any leader, toward leaders, and I judge leaders based upon their willingness to um, protect institutions uh, that will, uh, for a viable democratic society. And to the extent that any leader uh, undermines the free press, we will we will speak out. To the extent that any leader makes it difficult to worship freely, we will make our positions known. Uh, to the extent that the uh, judiciary is not an independent organization, in other words, to the extent that there's not proper checks and balances, we will uh, express our positions. And there's ways to do so. We do so through our embassies. We can do so in forums, not necessarily singling out a particular country or person, but talking on the positive about how important it is to have checks and balances in society, about how important it is to have these institutions so that a single person cannot become the become the become the ruler of all people. Uh, I will remind people today at this, uh, at this important summit that uh, as we talk about poverty and minority rights, which is of concern to many countries here, that one of such concerns are our concerns. And that if you're interested in minority rights, the best way to allow minorities to have rights is in a democratic society where the people actually make the decisions for government. And so um, it's a uh, I, I think this is a good forum and a good opportunity to express, uh, for me to express, our country's values. But they're not American values. I keep t telling you, these are universal values that are, that are true. That's, that, that's why my meeting with uh, President Kirshner was uh, one of the reasons it's so positive. is because uh, Argentina shares the same values that America shares. They've been through some difficult experiences uh, in, in making sure that those values are rooted in their societies. Of course, I've reminded others, uh, we, we went through difficult experiences in the past. We had a constitution that said everybody's free, but they weren't. And so it's a, uh, um, but it's, so what I search for in the world as I deal, think about world leaders is that commitment, firm commitment to values and uh, institutions that make democracy viable. Uh, thank you all very much. Thank you. One more about Persian occurs.